Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your Quantum Entanglement reading with me, Jocelyn the Quantum Queen, and this is for the month of June. We'll just kind of do the astrology read and see, kind of get a heads up of what energies you guys will be dealing with throughout the month of June, okay, in all the different areas of your life. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, or Rising, and is always welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Sag, and the message could actually be for you, so feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general readings, and um, for those of you, uh, just kind of a quick reminder my website information is down below for bookings on one on one readings, but I am still uh, putting a hold on those. Okay, and I did tell a couple of readings, but I decided to take it back. Back. <laughs> um, I was saying I was taking emergency readings. I can't even do that right now. Okay. So just so you guys know, I will notify you. I am getting quite a few emails and I will let you know when I open them back up. Um, just so you know, I'll announce it here on the channel. Plus, if you keep checking my website, you'll see when the availability opens up. Okay. Um, oh, and I just want to say, of course, thank you guys for liking, subscribing. I'm so, so grateful for all of you, for all your support. And as a thank you uh, for these weekly readings coming up, I am going to do a full reading. So where you would normally purchase a video on an extended video on Vimeo, that video will be included in the reading just for free for everyone. So it's going to be the whole thing for those of you as just a ginormous thank you and I love you so much. So let's dive into your reading, Sag. This, okay, so this is the first house. This is the house of Aries, the house of self. And the way that you're seeing yourself throughout the month of June will be two of pentacles fluctuating circumstances, making a lot of choices, balancing different elements, just a lot of fluctuation and movement. I feel like we'll be coming in through the month of uh, um, June and you will probably be like taking the initiative in a lot of ways. You're really getting your power and your energy back, which is great. It's helping to alchemize any type of low vibrations that you'd been through throughout the past like probably four or five months, okay? That's helping to rejuvenate you and your energy. In your second house, we have the five of wands. So I wanna say that this is the second house, which it's connected to money. Some of you guys could be feeling like there's, you could be feeling a bit like out of balance in a way with the two of pentacles because you feel like there's some competitive um, energies coming in you. I'm going to tell you if you guys are feeling competitive and challenges are great. I think it's great to challenge yourself, but if you're feeling it towards a specific person, some of you guys could be dealing with egoic or trauma bond energy. Okay. And it's because you're in a very huge vibrational difference, especially for those of you that are, this is connected to other people. It could be that you've elevated and changed, but you've still been going through this inner conflict of like feeling like you're continue, like you're really shifting into the new, you know what I mean? So that could be some inner conflict to maybe also directed to your finances. There could just be something where you're feeling like, um, some challenges come up with money. This doesn't seem like huge. It's just that you're having to make decisions and choices and kind of come to balance in certain areas of your life. All the retrogrades are helping to balance out your energy big time. In your third house, yeah, okay. So the Maiden of Swords, this can also be the Page of Swords. There could be someone here, because this can be like... Uh, the shadow side of this could be blunt, cynical, abrasive, mind games, and scatterbrained. Some of you guys could be communicating throughout this next month with someone, and I would just caution because you could be entangling with someone who is a bit immature in their energy and does play mind games and don't become their karma, okay? Like, do what you can. I just feel like someone's watching or reaching out or going to be reaching out to communicate with you, and it's someone that maybe feels competitive with you. Whether you know this or not, Sag, like, you might not even totally be aware. This could be a family member, just, like, someone else, but you could just be feeling almost energetically that there's this competitiveness, almost like you're you're having to move quite a bit because you almost feel like someone is challenging you or someone is like competing with you in some way, shape or form. 
So I would take a look out because, and we'll dive into that further, okay? In your fourth house, we've got the world card. There's a completion happening there, but there's a lot of achievement and reward that's taking place for the things that you're accomplishing in your family and home life because that's the fourth house is family and home. So I feel like things that you're accomplishing at your home are really helping you to feel accomplished throughout this next month. It's helping you to feel like you're, you're gaining some ground, like you're really achieving certain things as you're just working at certain little tiny things in your home. Okay. Also, some of you guys just on the other side of this, you could be looking to travel or relocate to a different location, maybe even somewhere across the world. You could be taking a look at that and planning that out, which would bring a chapter completion big time in your fifth house we've got the three of swords so fifth house can be um hobbies it can also be love affairs so i feel like you guys are still kind of getting over like it might not even be something like huge and serious because these are usually seventh house's significant partnerships but fifth house can be kind of like dating or there could have been someone that you were casually seeing and there was maybe like this, it could either be the other person that you're dealing with and maybe that's the Venus retrograde that's bringing this person's energy in just kind of as a cleansing or whatever ener energetic purging that you're needing to do just to kind of clear this from your conscious because, and if you guys could see, this is my brain. <laughs> I sculpted it. I love it. So that's what I'm going to tell you guys is as you shift you know, as you're like shifting the chemicals that you release from your brain, it's going to help you to close out this, any type of heartbreak or something that you felt like it didn't go quiet the way that you were expecting either for the other person or you, but it feels like not as crazy serious. This feels like someone a little bit more casual that I think you were seeing, but some of you, I feel like you started to choose your own hobbies and interests and doing your own stuff. And that could have caused a lot of conflict for someone else, okay? That's what I'm seeing coming in here is you were choosing yourself and doing what was best for you. You've got the Knight of Swords now coming in. So look at that. And, and it's in your sixth house. So I think that that's the house of health. It can also be like daily. It's like um, perfecting something. Or it can also be researching something and that helps to increase your knowledge, which again, increases your health. So some of you guys could be diving into new information on like how to increase your energy and your health. Um, that's what I see coming up this next month. And that will help you to see a lot of truths. Um, also, you guys might be starting to see certain things that make you a bit of an activist or a rebel you're like coming to certain truths about like say certain foods and chemicals and things that we put into our body that you're starting to maybe build up this like like you're wanting to maybe even communicate those truths that could be something also connected here because i was seeing that there's an interesting tie between that maiden of swords and the knight of swords so there could be something here that some of you guys are starting to learn how to communicate like maybe you're starting to roll out your own youtube channel or something here and it could be directly correlated to things or truths or understandings that you come to about your own health or just things that you have researched to yourself you could be in the beginning phase of coming out to speak about that and so that could be also that maiden of swords is that you're like a little bit vulnerable at doing it and there's going to be a lot of growth that develops in you for those of you that feel drawn to that part of the message okay but son of swords that can also be you're putting boundaries up you're like cutting certain things out of your diet that are affecting your health and your energy and look how beautiful you've got the sun card coming in to clarify that seventh house so here's the thing. I think that you guys, um, it could be a Leo here. There's a big emphasis also on air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I think that also you guys um, possibly like are coming into, here's the thing, okay? The sun card, every time I see that, it's always saying go out and spend time in the sun, absorb those photons of light, which is going to uplift your energy, which is going to affect this and this both of these houses, all of those are connected but this is also seventh house regarding partnerships so i think that there's something here where maybe you guys are wanting to like manifest a certain connection or partnership in your life and this will 
cause this kind of domino, this positive momentum and domino effect to entangle with all these other areas. So say for instance, you guys like start to feel an increase in your health and then you're putting boundaries up more and more and saying no to certain things that you put into your body that bring you down in your energy because you're feeling the vibrational difference here between this and other things that come into your experience. And then it will also be curing this, any type of heartbreak that you've had where you felt kind of disconnected from yourself and also it's going to revive certain hobbies or creative interests that you guys have so that's why I love that entanglement all along that side it's like recommending for you to get out in the sun and get really positive because I think that there could be a potential relationship that's coming into you that you've been wanting to manifest but it's like you're kind of needing to energetically get your body aligned so you can see who this person is. Like this could even be someone that you're just not seeing, honestly. Like it could be someone that's in your experience, but just because of energetically you're still kind of running on this filter, you might not see them in the right light, okay? In your eighth house, we have got the seven of wands. So yeah, look at this. You've got the five of wands. It's directly across here, but look how cool. Remember what I said about there's a partnership? Some of you guys could be feeling a little bit alone in your environment, but here's a bit of a perspective shift that you could be feeling like you have support now, that you still maybe have these opposing like things, but there could be a, a really beautiful partnership as you line up with your own energy that's supportive. And maybe that's even multiple people. For those of you, for example, if you've got a freaking following or something, people have your back. And you could just need to see it in that light that you're like, wow, I actually have a lot of support, maybe from the universe or from your guides. But there's just something here I'm getting that it's a bit of a perspective shift. Okay. In your ninth house, yeah, you've got the emperor. So there's Aries energy right there. I feel like here's the thing okay because you've got maiden of swords you've got these conflict conflicting energies coming in and two of pentacles it could be in relationship to another person but you've got this emperor so i feel like some of you could be possibly dealing with someone who's a bit rigid cold dominant immature or causes obstruction in your life here's the thing sag I'm going to tell you guys, I think that at times you might experience that energy yourself because maybe you're entangling with someone like that in your environment. And then when you feel like there's almost too of much of an emotional enmeshment because Maiden of Swords and Son of Swords is about learning how to put boundaries up when it comes to your emotions and your energies. So if you're entangling with this person a little bit too much, you might take that on yourself. You might become a little bit rigid and cold and dominant and trying to control because you're experiencing someone else in your environment that's controlled by fear, shame, and guilt. That's a lot of their energy and their thoughts they think. So there could be something there that it's blocking a bit of your mental expansion. It's blocking some things. And also some of you guys could be dealing with their certain things that you're like really rigid about in your mental thinking, which is it? That's your own house. That's Sagittarius and Sagittarius love ment mental expansion, but there could be something that you've like kind of gripped on a little too much. And it's maybe time to like kind of just have a flow to it. It's not that you have to release ideals, but that can be connected to philosophy, religion, just certain like core foundational beliefs that you're like, this is it and this is all. I don't know. There's just something here about opening up to certain things. Um, we'll dive into that further though, because that's interesting that they came out there. Six of swords coming out in your 10th house in the career. There's a resolution of difficulties. There's maybe a new journey moving on travels. Love to see that you guys, if for example, you guys are a business owner or an entrepreneur could be with the emperor card. You guys could be getting ready to travel careers. Like you could be switching careers. You're moving from a difficult work environment that was maybe even reflective energetically of the way that you were raised. Maybe it was really similar to the narcissistic family dynamic, but you could be moving away from that and moving toward a more calm and peaceful situation. That's awesome. So let's see in your 11th house house maiden of pentacles so um i'm gonna say that this is an outside person because this is earth energy it could be a capricorn taurus virgo but there's something here about 
I think there's, um, oh, actually, that's perfect. This is that Gemini energy, which I know this is pentacles, but there could be a lot of learning that comes in with that Gemini energy that we're in right now that you guys could be really, like, learning a lot right now, and it's just going to open up your mind. Like, you guys could be diving into different YouTube channels and just, like, opening up your energy to different ideals because that's what I feel like the Emperor card was coming in to say. Embody this this youthful energy, this student kind of humble willingness to learn, because I feel like energetically it's going to open up something that's very positive for you throughout the month of June. And in your 12th house, we've got the Ace of Cups. Awesome. So it means that's perfect because you've that's the Pisces house. There's the emotional energy. So I feel like for those of you, that's the house of self-sabotage, self-undoing, and that's self-love right there. So some of you guys, this could be connected to like, there's things that you could be doing right now that will just help you increase, you know, your connection with yourself and just that self-love of, you know, loving yourself enough to dot, dot, dot type of thing. That's what I feel like you're having to kind of do throughout this month of June is like learning where to say no to other things that maybe affect your health in a, in a way that just brings you down. And as you continue to do that, you're opening up a vortexual energy of love to come into your experience. And it could be directly connected to this other partner, but we will dive into the extended with this and see whatever wants to come out. So if you guys want to join me over there, feel free, go down below, click on the Vimeo link and I'll see you over there. But Sag, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love, wishing you all the very best and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.